Alrighty, welcome back to Caribbean Legends on version 1.1. Um, we'll start a normal story mode again. Explore uh, exploration mode just because of the timers. Receiving city guards and enemies at sea. Goods are better safeguards from rats. Good accountant. Crew shares. Oh, you can turn that off. Okay. Spill my coffee. We got into such a terrible storm the other day. Did we? Okay. Right, we're going to get through this. Be hurricane season indeed. Here we go again. Top side. We'll skip the uh, on ship tutorial. Oh, never mind. all of that down a little bit right it is a pleasure to welcome you to the colonies sir are you uh, coming from good old home yes well there's new voice lines as well and, and uh, a bunch of little add-ons i think um, anyway Um, I'm going to pass. Okay. You'll find everything you need here. Give me what you've got. Well, we start with a few bits. Interesting. Hmm. And a short saber. Well, we can uh, sell off those few bits in the bank. Might as well do now. Let me guess. You need a money lender. Right, okay, we can't do anything until we've done the actual quest. Which is fine. Let's go get arrested. Please 
please, quickly. I'm quite occupied at the moment. Hope my brother is in trouble yet. Yeah. Detain this man yet. Yeah. What the devil is this? There you go. That's a Caribbean legend. <sighs> I please with your service. You're in my good place. Uh, Philip Ponce, good afternoon. Uh, good joke, sir. Uh, how do you know who I am? That's Don Interrupting. Cool. <sighs> You're considered by mistake a Spanish spy and put under arrest. Okay. <laughs> uh, am I free? You are. Or there's a good warrior for the Maltese order. Uh huh. I want you to know that uh, Monsieur de Montpair is in serious trouble. I've got all the reasons to suspect him of abuse of authority and misappropriation of property and, and a perjury. Where's my brother? Is there, are you even listening? I said he's under arrest. It's not the same thing. Being kept under arrest at the underground base of Saint Pierre. Okay, so cool. we've kind of been through all this. This is the very, very, very beginning, so we're gonna skip it all. Why are you? Press log. He's arrested as soon as I tried to ask my brother. And um, we have to go there. Come on, don't irritate me. Cannot open. Come on in. Have a seat. Make yourself at home. Do I have my gear? I don't. Wait, did it say I could get my gear somewhere? that maybe we don't get her gear and we have to get it later anyway away we go who are you where are you off to go yeah, ahead that's correct Dolanay. So he's going to show us where the base is. Right here. <laughs> Chat to her brother. After we chat to this fecker. These and soldiers are always in high demand. Stop. No matter what you think, I'm happy to see you, brother. Again, we're gonna kinda churn through all this. Plenty to read. Um, a lot of it is just fluff, but there's a few bits in there that you should read. Five thousand is just a deposit on the ship. I'll need around twenty thousand pesos. So you'll have to earn the rest of the money yourself. Besides that. You'll need money to hire a crew and a navigator. And when you part the sail straight to Guadeloupe, an island north of here, talk to the scumbag. I'm going to skip the tutorial. I know. 
you know, the tutorial has been updated. I'll, I'll do that separately another day. Maybe Sunday or something, we can just do a start and do the tutorial and see what the differences are. Heading to the Abbot. Time skip unlocked. Go for the rest ability in the action menu. That is the wrong way. My name, I was advised to talk to you. Ah, I see. Um, I need your help. I just recently arrived here and I am broke. <laughs> yep. This is going to give us 50,000 pesos and 100 balloons. Happy year for repayment will be enough. Sweet. So if you skip the tutorial, basically, that gives you the money to um, pay for your ship. Get all the supplies you need. So we're gonna go pay the deposits. First, we're gonna rob this man. Because he's a prick. Our dockyards are the envy of all our competitors. <laughs> Uh, according to the contract, you have to pay the money no later than one week after the descent of the ship into water. You only have three days, and then I'm free to sell this ship to another customer. Mind you, there already is one, so you better hurry. I have the required sum right now. Allow me to congratulate you on your successful purchase. Wait, so we have a ship. Right, I'm a captain, huh? Wonder that, um... Captain still can't get used to it. Alright, time to hire a crew. Or said that uh, the bartender might be helpful. And is walking you through the basics. And there's our boat. Circle and fun, refreshing beverage, and cozy bed at your service. After the sailor behind you, he and his buddies just left the merchant ship. Cool. Shush, shush, shush. Keep uh, it the down, guy with now. the exclamation point over his head. Excuse me, I've got to get to the saloon pronto. How many men have you got? 40. How much? Here's your money. Uh, do you have the victuals in the holds? Medicine? No? Well, that's no good. We're gonna get the minimum for a voyage, which is like. 200 of everything. Basically means we're going to the store, which is over this side. That R will double your speed. Whether you are a peasant, an artisan, mm -hmm. or a nobleman, anyone can find a product that suits their taste. I think you only need a hundred medicine, but um, obviously we'll take a bit. A 
think a bit of rum. Gonna buy a, a few weapons. I don't think I. It'll tell me when I go back, but I don't think I need the weapons. And I suppose we'll buy some food. That's more like it. <coughs> right, cool. They're on the ship. Proper navigator. Um, should ask the bartender again. Circle and food, refreshing beverages, and cozy bed at your service. basically um, ask around the streets it's what he's saying um hey I need a weapon find everything you need here Put the light weapon at least I have something Looking for a navigator serving my ship. Do you know of anyone? Nope. I can't remember if he has an exclamation point over his head. Work to attend to. Oh, yeah, he does. Hello. Looking for a navigator. Navigator, hmm? Well, I know one. It's just one problem. He's in jail. Debtor's prison. Been locked up in the casements for near a month now until he hears someone else pays his debt. What's his name? Falk to Luke. The prison commandant. Uh, ask the prison commandant if you want to see him. Okay. Back to prison we go. Come on in. Have a seat. Make yourself at home. <laughs> I heard your man pop the Luke in your prison. Is there anything I can do to release him? <sighs> Says he repays his debt. How much did you owe? Ask the banker. <sighs> yeah, you can um, fast travel here as well. Through the enter menu. Let me guess. You need a money lender. Um, you have a debtor. How much does he owe you? Five thousand pesos. So his debt is currently ten thousand. So his freedom is priced that money. You want to pay for me? I'm a little surprised. Double surprise. Here's the money. So you might need the sailor. You're willing to shell out that money, of course. Uh, petition for his release from the prison. Okay. Come on in. Have a seat. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Here you go. I don't know if I want to take my debtor. Yep, sure thing. Bring forth the prisoner. Sweet. <coughs> Got our navigator. <sighs> Got a ship, no navigator, need one, so I bought you for your debt. Yep, you're going on my crew. You serve over to a privateer for the Dutch East uh, West in the, the Dutch West India Company. You can handle cannon cannons, so you can serve as gunnery officer if you need. Trading and boarding are my weakness. 
All right. I think we go talk to her brother next, right? Oh, yeah, okay. He's gonna tell us, um... Oh. Let lag be always smiling My apologies, down yes. Caesar Craig, he's the owner of the tavern at Lefrançois. You're back to the park to Guadeloupe. Um, he'd like to offer you some easy money, interesting. I can't remember, was this worth it the last time? I'm sure I've never posted making some money. Now we're talking, matey. Um, here's the deal. Caesar earned me the batch of wine delivered to Guadeloupe. 200 barrels. Your ship sold to take that easily. Pay us 10,000 pesos for an easy job. He's in a hurry and your ship is going to be on the harbor right now. Right. Hate to let Francois and speak with Caesar. Take care of everything. All you'd have to do is anchor in the bay outside La Francois. Don't let me down. As soon as I'm ready to part, I'll head directly there. So, um, we'll go into the cabin here. Navigator is waiting for you in the cabin, so we have to enter menu and go into our cabin. This didn't throw me money away in a leaky tub. Any advice? Plenty of powder and shot for our needs. Just don't forget to restock it as needs. Okay, so we have enough of everything. If we didn't have anything, he would tell us to go off and buy it. Oh, there we go. We don't have enough weapons on board for the crew. If we don't have enough weapons, we'll lose far more men during boarding actions. Buy enough weapons for each, or even a few extra. 50 sets should suffice. There you go. We head back out to the sea. Uh, we more. We'll go buy some more weapons. <clears throat> Whether you are a peasant, an artisan, or a nobleman, anyone can find a product that suits their taste. Right, that should be that. Oh, that's annoying. Go back in the cabin. Talk to the dude again. Finish spraying the weapons? Sure. Food and room. It's disastrous if you don't have enough food and room on board. Always make sure to da, da, da. mutiny. Okay, the room is not as critical, but I strongly recommend always keeping some on board. Yeah. We're going by supplies. At least a hundred crates of food and ten barrels of rum. You fecker. What have I got? Like seventy food. All right, let's haggle a little bit. I have 18 rum, so we're good. That should be enough. Right, we can raise that anchor and head off. Cool. Set him as navigator. Yeah, he has a basic navigation skill. Right. 
Upkeep is 5,000 pesos still, though. Right, we're off. Is that 25 minutes? So, yeah, we're going to sail to Francois. And I'm going to remember to save. Save often. Alright, let's go talk to the boyo. Serve our customers here, especially the ones here about the barrels of wine. What are you talking about? So we're gonna get into our first combat here. I don't deal in wine. Don't need your services, and I don't know any Walter Catcher. Smells like dirty business. Sea battle is incoming. Save your game. Shall. Did we do exploration mode last time, or did we do the regular mode? Pick with bombs or immediately border the wind allows. Um, not immediately border, but uh. We shall do a thing. The Neotaritan, so um, they don't have the same crew as us. Fire long range, go on. Good luck. <laughs> Rotate. Ah. And we'll go in. <clears throat> Via tab, we can go into first person mode and um, supposedly a little bit more accurate when you're firing off a volley. because that will take you on to the next stage and you want to go to both ships
Loot all the doors. And then let's click on to the next piece. Oh, they gave up. Cool. Uh, take all goods. That's uh, fine. They had a few weapons and stuff. That's all right. Uh, yeah, cool. And now we're officially out of the guided tutorial, really. Because we can go out to the open world map. Right, off to Guadalupe. We will definitely be farming pirates against the um, the fort here as usual. Just it's just too good not to do. talk to today um what i'm going to do is sell off a few things first moist toys at your service i don't need that many cannonballs grape shot we do need chain shot eh, not so much nor the bombs Food. I can't make use of the sale cloth and planks right now. Uh, you can get an officer that will allow combat repairs, which will use um, all of that. Hey, lads, how's it going? Caribbean Legend is kind of like the remaster of Sea Dogs to each his own. They're uh, still updating it. So it's the uh, the final version of the Sea Dogs games on this engine, I believe. Stop on by, best products in the colony. So yeah, it does look dated. Because it is dated, but um, it is what it is. Um, plus 15 to trading skills, used in healing potions. I don't have that yet. Give you all of that, then uh, we can sell the gold nugget to the bank. Which is over here. Up, Captain, where were you rushing off to? Like pirates from 2005, uh, or like pirates of the Caribbean. A good interest rate for a good customer. Uh, da -da -da. That is because it is uh, the pirates game was based off this engine. Pirates of the Caribbean game was based off of uh, the Sea Dogs games at the time. Right, let's talk to this Becker. Oh, you mean the Sid Meier's Pirates one? Ah, uh, kind of, yeah, yeah. Make, make sure and steal from this guy, because... What brings you this sack of the wood? Well-intentioned, I hope. What Roy. can I do for you? For Michael's brother, yep. Uh, I'm all ears. He's, so we we're going to tell him about all the trouble our brother is in. <clears throat> uh, 
Please understand my situation. So he's saying he was robbed. Um. Again, we're gonna go quickly through all of this. Oh yeah, he's giving us this dagger. I'd really prefer the money over a knife. But I don't have your money. I do have this rare enchanted artifact. Why would you sell it? What's the hidden power? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> there you go, but that's merely the least of its qualities. If you wield this dagger in battle, I'm sure it'll display its might in many dramatic ways. Do I have a choice? I'll take it since you don't have the coin. Have you found the culprits? Virgin swords, so he wants like scimitars and the like. <clears throat> Which is hilarious because he can pay us for the scimitars. I'm particularly interested in this in the thieves, but I want my swords. I'll keep my eyes peeled. A thief tried to get inside the house a few days ago. Hang them over to the guards and they'll hang them soon. Picking through your chest. Oh, the Indian, yeah. So we're going to go to the prison and get um, the dude. We kind of skipped that by accident the last time. <laughs> because this is a very... If you can't get in anywhere and someone is running towards you, they're about to talk to you. Have a moment of your time. It's always a pleasure to meet a colleague, especially one with whom I share a name. Uh-huh. You acquire an escort to Saint Pierre, and I know Saint Pierre, but that's only a two-day journey, and I must confess. Uh, okay. Your honesty, the priest captain. Please forgive the informality, but uh, you're precisely the person I need. Led to a pirate ambush. I've heard of that incident, which is why I sought you out. Firstly, I'm carrying a rather valuable cargo, and there's always a predators lurking. However, your recent triumphs over those pirates. Give the scoundrels their paws. Secondly, your association with Fede Muscovite is a strong endorsement. It's not an endorsement for you, though. What compensation do you propose? Not a favor, Captain, but a mutually beneficial. I'll pay you 40 gold pieces to escort me to Saint Pierre in a timely manner. Since I'm headed the opposite direction, I'll require payment up front. Character fees. Nice. Here are the party balloons. Should we set sail without delay? Time is money. We won't tarry long. We'll be sailing shortly. Now. <sighs> Come on in. Have a seat. Make I, I want to talk about business. <laughs> There's an Indian under arrest. He was captured by Fede. Can I talk with him? <sighs> I have no reason to forbid you from talking with him. You're not the first who's come to see that red skin. Well, <laughs> ten days every sitting will do to take a look at him when we hang him and dry in the sun. Cheers, <sighs> up, buddy. Ensuring the safety of the town is a serious task. It is, so why are you doing it? <laughs> I'm just looking in all the cells as well. He's always down the end. What's up, buddy? The word of Moscow is stronger than Ireland. Your name is that? Hmm, listen, warrior, I've come here to stare at you. I haven't come here to stare at you. I'm here to ask Chris, why did you intrude into the fat man's house? 
You'll be hanged for theft and everything else you've done. Tell me why you committed such an act and maybe I'll be able to help you. <sighs> Big water from great forests and swamps. Fire and want to eat. Die from hunger, no one help him. Yeah, go away, red skinned dog. Pop owner, kick out Indian like my angry dog. He wants to eat. God damn it, boy, did you come to the settlement from your forest? You were kicked out of your native clan because you got in a fight with the shaman. Okay. Why did you fight with your own people? Shaman of the tribe is an evil man. He says evil spirits settle in my wife's body. Wife must die. The thick, no spirits. So they killed his wife. <laughs> Either steal or die of hunger. Well, I say a new permanently coin stolen star man. I'll try and help you out. I know for day the husky man whose house you snuck into. Maybe I'll be able to do something. I'll go talk to the dude. <laughs> the breathing is a bit much. It's our responsibility to be on guard. Come on in. Have a seat. Business. Make yourself at home. Isn't that too harsh as a uh, punishment for a small crime? You're new here, aren't you? You don't understand the situation in the colonies. The execution would be a lesson for those who dare to encroach in the property of French colonists. Anyway, um, to stop the punish punishment, I don't think that it's too harsh. Go to the Fide and ask for this Indian if you really care about the faith that much. If Fide writes a petition for release. Okay. Now Fide is going to charge us for that. Because he's a prick. But I don't want that officer. Go for it, dear fella. Have a visit. Bring your tantalizing rumors of other outlandish jolly factions. Out with it. Go the whole hog. <laughs> but hey, I may be younger than you, but even I can tell when I'm being told the truth when I'm being lied to. No. Says if he broke into my house, that savage should never have come here. What would you do if you were in my situation? I'd probably stab you with the dagger you gave me. No, I wouldn't. Um, you're still angry because of your stolen Shampshire collection. Ah, uh, Charles. How much? One hundred and fifty gold doubloons. I've got the amount you need right now. Here you go. I understand your frustration, but I don't want to compensate you with real money for this inconvenience. What? Crap, I can't save here, can I? Eighty gold, not a coin less. Here's your eighty doubloons. I'll write up a note. The sailors, hold on a second. Here you go. Give this to the commandant. Right, cool. Come on in. Have a seat. Business. Make yourself at home. Release the Indian. Thanks. <laughs> the word of Moscow is strong. You really this come to an end. I've helped set you free. I'm not joking. They're about to open the cell and let you out. Follow me, I'll lead you out of the jail. <clears throat> Why are we out here? The word of Moscow is stronger than iron. Better find some village to live in. Uh, I don't think they'd be accepting you. 
Your, his life belongs to me now. Okay. You'll die in battle for me? Probably will. Not a bad idea. I need loyal people. You don't seem to be a bad man. Also, you know how to shoot musket and... Uh, what are you going to do alone anyway? Alright, you can stay. Remember, life isn't going to be calm with me. Cool. So we've now got him as an officer. Uh, a son of the sea. Yeah, you're addressing me? Right. I'm Coco Leaf. I have business with you, son of the sea. This is one of the new things added in 1.1, I believe. I don't know what Coco looks like or what you're, why you're named after it, but fine. Tell me what you need. You go to town, buy two pistols and ten powder and bullets. Give them to me, there's a reward. And Son of the Sea will be pleased. Two pistols and twenty shot, that's all. Why don't you buy them yourself? Um, would you sell me a fire weapon? And why do you need it? <clears throat> to fight, but on equal terms. Pale faces have fire weapons, Indians don't. That's unfair. And to have a fire weapon for an Indian, it's protection against unjust treatment, humiliation, and insults by pale faces. The word of Moscow is stronger than I have. I've noticed back in Europe they preach about Indians to true faith. By teaching Indians to true faith now, okay. Big surveillance seems that way. Do you want revenge too against our recent captors? It's already bad. And helping Kogu will only make it worse. But he does have a point. Let's deliver crew to pay soon. Hmm. I overheard your conversation with the strangely dressed Indian. You're not like the other pale faces. You understand him and you understand Coco I'm sure. What do you offer for the weapons? You call them pearls, many pearls. Um, I, yeah, I'll give him the guns, why not? The arms merchant is... That guy. With the exclamation point over his head. You'll find everything you need here. You need two pistols along with bullets and powder for 20 shots. Uh, so can we make a deal? Of course, customers are always welcome. For 3,000 pesos, you'll get reliable customers bullets. That's alright. Ooh, seems, the price seems unfair. How about a discount for a friend of Fede? Uh, I don't want to risk that because he's probably screwed him over. Cheers, buddy. Depends on how many pearls he gives us. Oh, <laughs> great. Great. I can't equip them. Uh, if I go... Oh, it's called Vanguard now. Ah. Level 12, the beast. <clears throat> Looks like we have a gathering of natives here. You want to go back to prison? What are you doing here, monsieur? Are you waiting for this upstanding citizen? All papers look the same to me, yet, but I've never seen this one. Do what you want with me. Getting powers from Coco Leaf is ready to face the spirits of the forest. Hell awaits you, not the spirits of the forest. Captain, you're dismissed, stay out of my way. Expecting the city is serious business. I see, but what about this Indian? What's your interest in Indians, monsieur? Although, well, yes, you're fresh from Europe. How's Paris? Do you still uh, squish city rats, or have they started inviting them to communion? See, we have natives instead of rats. They do business with buccaneers, attack loggers, they eat people, dammit. 
Seemingly the weather has changed. Some bright individual has already sold a musket to like this one. Guess what? Those bastards killed all the soldiers in the patrol. Led by the way by my comrade. And the traitor colonist has strung him up dry in the sun, setting his happen. That's treason, treason against France. I've been tracking that colored guy for a while and he's already become a familiar face of various events. I'm gonna go tr trustworthy. <clears throat> Understood. Please convey my grants. Oh wow. Even I'm surprised that worked. Here you go, Scoberly. We got a award and we got 180 stones and another amulet. No, but will a cannon for my ship do? Leave now, Scoberly, before we're spotted and arrested. Oh, did I change from trustworthy to unknown? Is that what that note was? A good interest rate for a good customer. Yeah, okay, yeah, so we, we made 1800 out of it. I'll do. We'll keep the doubloons. Can I see that in a log somewhere? Other than there. Archive. Take him to St. Pierre. I hope we're not leaving into a storm. Oh, we're actually, he's actually bringing a ship. I see. I thought we were um, bringing him in the, the cabin. Thank you for your escort, Captain. I'm pleased there was no incidents yet. Game trouble is something I miss. Well, since um, you're a dependable individual, so commerce is a risky affair, correct? Might as well wear a batch of ropes at a bargain. <laughs> On Guadalupe, from, you know. I tend to swiftly sell them in San Pierre and use the proceeds to purchase coffee for resale at Williamstead. It all sounds rather dubious. You speak of the cargo as though it were gold. <clears throat> uh huh. So, we're smuggling. Gotcha. Had falling out with Santiago smugglers last year, nearly forgotten about it, but these individuals maintain close connections. Smuggling isn't of interest to me. Honest trade can bring you a handsome profit, but you'll never amass substantial wealth. I didn't initiate this rather precarious conversation with you without reason. The local smugglers pre uh, frequent the tavern, they'll be eager to of this cargo. How much do you ask for the cargo? 
As a consider also, my sympathies with your predicament, but they cannot accept such a risk. We understand how the smuggling works. Um, I don't really want to get into a fight right now. <clears throat> Let's go talk to her brother. <sighs> What's up, buddy? <clears throat> yes, we defeated the pirates, we did. I visited the Fede and what I did. Because he's on the rocks, he's been robbed recently. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> on the rocks? No, no, no. He tricked you. Let's see. I'll go back to it and see him. There's no need for that unless you want to spend a couple of months in the prison cell. Forgotten what I told you. Hubert is friend of Claus Francois de Leon. Governor. He's not going anywhere. All right. You better deal with him. Looks like uh, I'll be left without the promised starting funds. Looks like you'd keep your head up. One who has a ship and a head and a shoulders can do whatever. And dun, 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 dun. Very inspiring. Again, we've been through all this. Worth the read, it tells you a couple of things, but um, he's basically just trying to tell you, hey, be a pirate. Nobody you blame you for plundering trade ships of a hostile nation, I assure you. And with a letter of mark, you will even get official support from the authorities. Yeah, getting a letter of mark from France would be good. Yeah, forget your previous life. I'm not telling you to become a pirate, but to engage in military action against the hostile nation and only when there's good reason for it. So, hunt Spanish. Get money, get a better ship, learn the archipelago, and upgrade your skills. Um, later I'll tell you what to do after that. Okay, cool. If you cross any nation or turn out love is the local church. And talk to Abbot Benoit. Tell him that I've sent you. He has connections. And one more thing. We are nobles, but it is foolish to have an aversion to crafting with your own hands. So he's going to show us how to make the paper cartridges. Okay. See you later, bud. I'm sure we'll be back within a time frame of some sort. I don't have any gunpowder. Expiration mode timer is not disabled. Meet the deadline. What? Oh, this? This is the Fede again, anyway. Keep going out the wrong door. We're, we're not going to meet that deadline. What have we got, buddy? Ways uh, eleven grand, so we'll be able to pay our crew at least. Um, what I could do with oh, <coughs> Alonzo, who's Alonzo? Party here, don't worry too much, but uh. Must be tough to remember almost 40 new faces on board. It's just a few days. Um, your navigator has been arrested and taken to the local dungeons. Debt issue, they say again. He's a mischief bugger. Ah, bail him out again. I'll speak to the commandant. Wish him to speak. Why go through all this trouble? A man like him will only bring trouble to the ship. Do I have a choice? There are hardly any other navigators available. You don't need a master yet, just a competent one. Your situation changed over the past week. You know this, right? No need to scrape the bottom of the barrel to find men for your crew. People now talk about you 
about how you defeat that pirate and the connections you made. The crew is behind you too, Captain. They like you. What's the crew's opinion of Deluc? Got on quickly, Captain. The crew sees him as a deep and officer who treats with respect but not worth the trouble. Just three days ago, an entire crew from a sizable merchant vessel was dismissed because it's worth a visit. Maybe it's worth a visit to the tavern. You mean the tavern I'm at the door of? It's what the crew is suggesting. Thanks. Now I remember it. Return to the ship and uh, lead while I handle the situation. Oh, look. <coughs> what are you good at? I'm the best navigator within the waters. I still know a little bit of medicine and I'm ready to do you a favor and serve under you. And how much do you want? Four grand? Isn't that a bit much? Sorry, Captain, but um, worth exactly as much as I asked for. Good. Do something different. What do you say? Try your faith? Why not? I could actually just go up and see how much it's going to cost to get the, the other dude out. <coughs> Come on in. Have a seat. Make yourself at home. <laughs> <sighs> oh, never mind. Right, time to go out and actually do stuff. I was going to go in and get extra crew, that's what I was doing. Many of them are about to uh, Oh, we're at max. Oh, we're good. Sword. His navigation is 45. We have trustworthy. Oh, so it's that that's what's giving us a kill. Okay. Treasure hunter. Excellent player allows you to find treasures with better content. Fifty percent. Ship is unlikely to be harmed by rats and other pests. And we have the pirate flag. Okay, let's go talk to the dude again. See if we can find a. Ooh, that's a big Spanish ship. See what it is. Probably a trade group with an escort, right? I see a pennant. Ooh, three, three trading ships. If it was in a slightly bigger ship, maybe. <clears throat> We're just in a little lugger. Dutch. Um, I guess we talked for day again. Oh god, the storm. What brings you this sack of the woods, fine fella? Find some work. Well intentioned, I hope. What did he what actually say that I would help you? Oh, pretty much. I won't turn you down, cool. A man by the name of Gerard Lacroix will be waiting for you at the store tomorrow. He'll give you some work. Uh, he'll sit around this colony only until tomorrow evening. See him soon and do the job properly. Don't put me in an awkward position. Go 
to the local shop tomorrow morning and talk with Gerard Lacroix. It's four in the evening, so we can now rest here. Let's rest until 8.55 the next morning. Could have saved the game first. Save it now. Go to the shop. You there. Yep. And I have a lugger, her name is Adeline. So in that case, you're good for me. Are you ready to set at sea? Uh, yep. What have I got to do? A small batch of gunpowder and bombs to Porto Prince. Commandant has been waiting for it for a while, so don't lose any time. You have about 10 days left. Commandant will pay you 5,000 5, pieces of eight. And that's the whole job? Oh, by no means. The Commandant will explain the real job to you when you bring the munitions. This way is a small aparti the work you have ahead. Don't be afraid. If you drop well, you make some serious money. Make your way to ship and cast off. Exploration mode. Timer is disabled. Thank you. But it will tell you each time it disables the timer. That's good. Alright, let's head to Port au Prince. And uh, not that one. Nope, not that one. That one. Where's that storm? Go away. Uh, just to make sure that I actually. Port au Prince, my payment is 5,000 pesos, but according to LaCroix, it is only the first and easiest part of my mission. Caribbean in a nutshell, so we're gonna get betrayed. It was interesting that they still haven't moved the, the town over into this bay. It's intriguing to see that guy running across there into the tavern. Of course, have a pleasant day. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, we've talked to the commandant. It could be what in the fort.
So let's head out. And let's go this way. Because... Ah. Oh. Go all the way to the top. Think maybe no. Who are you? Obviously, he's gonna have like an exclamation point over his head. Oh no! Watching, Shella, get out of the way. Can do it. Him, he's on the ground floor <laughs> or is he in the basement the cannon battery another cannon battery another cannon battery something you need to discuss with me um i come from the colony of bastard and orders from a man named Jure lacroix <sighs> well you're the courier fine let's sort the things out with the cargo and then you'll receive further instructions okay bombs and gunpowder 200 for uh, good the soldiers will unload the cargo your men can take a break here's your payment for the freight five thousand pesos should i do next are you ready to pay attention absolutely not our military ship Warlike is cruising near the Spanish colony Portobello. The vessel is under the command of Florian Shook, who is preparing an ambush of a Spanish heavy galleon. Okay. The problem is that our biggest cannon are suffering from a casting defect, and we need to replace 15 cannons to save the mission. Otherwise, the galleon will outnumber Warlike with both guns and men. Such a sequence of events is highly undesirable. Your task is to save the mission by delivering 15 cannons within 14 days. So I need to take aboard 15 cannons, head to Portobello, seek out the frigate militant, and hand over the cannons. Exactly. Got it. What about payment? Larian will pay you 200 gold doubloons. Because I'm certain that he'd want uh, to use you and your ship for his own goals, with your consent, of course. All right, I'm on the mission. They'll be loaded onto my ship. Cool. Timer is disabled. <laughs> I like that. Oh look, an ominous man waiting for us at the other end of the path. Where's my dude? Are 
Are you a traitor? Captain Lamar, wait. I can barely keep up with you. There's been a slight hiccup, Captain. What a mess. Take a breath and calm down. This is the guy from the pub. After we loaded the can, there was still space in the hall. So only this is not true here, but I assume there should be. He's ordered an additional 200 measures of gunpowder to be delivered to the warlike. Very well. Farm the loading tr Oh, no. Is that going to be, like, bad gunpowder? Ah, good, my dude is back. Yeah, I do not trust that guy. My ship gonna explode? What the hell is this? What the fuck happened? What happened to my ship? No, Captain, I was just saying goodbye to a local woman I met recently and... Oh, shit. Eugenie, she's dead, Alonzo. Sorry, but we need to focus and see if any of the crew are harmed. According to Captain, most of the crew were ashore when the explosion occurred, fortunately. The boys were taking advantage of some shore leave before our next big voyage, but the ship's watch out here. There are no survivors. Look around, the debris injured or killed. People even here, on this pier. It's a miracle the two of us were unharmed. What about the ship? My apologies, Captain, it's hard to say for sure, but look at this prick. Seems the explosion happened on the upper deck, not below. I don't see any active fires, and it looks like we've escaped major damage. Do you have something you need to discuss with me? I'm asking the same thing, Colonel. Yeah. You accepted the job from the Navy and took on the heavy cannons, property of the Crown. Of strategic importance, you understand the significance of these cannons? For the entire... Your negligence has put... Oh. Almost 400 men and a French warship in jeopardy are facing a trial for treason here. Calm down, Colonel. Actually, it appears my ship is surviving and your precious cargo is mostly intact. Mostly. You mean mostly? I can't guarantee the 200 measures of gunpowder loaded at the last minute by one of your tents weren't damaged. They were meant to be loaded last, and likely the ones that exploded. What lieutenant? What gunpowder? I didn't issue an order. This lieutenant must have been from your garrison. I didn't inquire about his name, but he seemed to be aware of, of the operation. It seems the Castellans are inclined to play dirty, too. I'll handle this unfortunate situation. Captain, you have a slow job to do. And you're certain your ship is seaworthy? She's afloat. She definitely needs significant repairs. No time for that? Yes, there is, because I don't have a timer. Set sail immediately and complete the mission. Stakes are too high to delay. Can't wait. Could we at least have a day, for heaven's sake? The locust ship here should make the necessary repairs, and what about leave my crew? There's surely casualties. In case you hadn't noticed, the shipyard is ablaze. We're still determining if it's deliberate or a side result of the explosion. I can only promise you that you're ruined to receive medical care, and the crown will bear the cost of burying the dead. Are you serious? That's the best you can offer? Captain France needs your assistant urgently. Limp tail. Provide you the planks. If you play your cards right, your ship is, will be nearly fully repaired by the time you reach Jamaica. What blanks and why Jamaica? Uh, your crew can perform emergency repairs with the planks. Oh. Um, if you don't waste time, you can finish repairs and recruit a full crew there. Very well then, we'll set sail immediately. I don't have time for this right now. Can't you see what's happening? The current troubles are dire, but I can tell you, tell from your hand that there is more rising on the horizon. Anyone can see that without even looking at my hand. And why I might add, which I might add, is in a glove. I don't play my own. What's the price for averting disaster these days? I don't have that power, Hudson. Even if I did, I wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to afford it. I wouldn't be able to afford it? 
but I can still help you out with your ship. The girl is in a sorry state, my dear. I never knew you to be uh, have ambitions for carpentry. You dear hardly a carpenter yourself. Do you think planks alone repair your ship? It'll only weigh you da down unless you have a master carpenter or... <coughs> It's a potent amulet revered by locals, wood bends to its will, and even those unfamiliar with carpentry find themselves skilled once they wear it. It's yours for a mere thousand pesos. I'll give her a thousand for it. Very well. She actually did give us um, this. Works for a captain, a companion, and a carpenter. Disappears after 45 days. Um, yeah, we'll use it. Can I wear three amulets? And we also got, um, there, the adder stone. Improves all our skills. That goes up here. So if we go to our character, we now have plus two in all of our skills. Our navigation is terrible. You're using a tomahawk and you have a couple of healing potions. You've got a broadsword, you don't need anything because you're the navigator. Uh, what's this one? Poison enemies during a fight. Alright. Uh, new entry in the logbook. Carabine in a nutshell indeed. Thank you for the quite a job you screwed for me. I really need to turn profit here, as it's been more losses than gains so far, it appears. I've been ensnared in some unsavory disputes between Spain and France. The ship is damaged, crew members dead, time is scarce. Okay. Repair the Jamaica route, recruit men there. Repair the ship before proceeding to the shores of Spanish Main. However, if time is tight, I may proceed directly there. But it's not, because the timer is off. How bad. Ooh. Ah, full. Sales are okay, though. Friendship. Um, so we're heading down past Jamaica. So basically straight south. Oh, we only lost five crew. That's not too bad. And we're heading to Porto Bello. Oh, we're heading just right down there. So it's like directly south the whole way. Yeah, you can hit tab to go into this mode. No, 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 no. Do the thing. And lucky I didn't go in there with the storm. Head into Port Royal. Get repaired up. <clears throat> also, we clearly don't have a Master Carpenter aboard at all, right? Where is that skill? It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe I could have gone to the... the tavern and found someone. Right. 
for a rest until morning. Ensuring the safety of the town is a serious task. Huh? Get these repairs done after we rob him. Actually, I will, I, I will use... Ooh, it's a heavy, though. Needs a lot of stamina. Shapes are like people. Every one of them has a soul of their own. 100 per percent, eh? Time again. All right, let's go. I don't like that it's windy out. So we're heading down near Portobello, and then we're gonna look for the the ship. Also rum. Too close, too close, too close. Cruising not far from Portobello, I've only got two now, don't worry about that, two weeks. Alright, well we can see them somewhere. Oh, they're over there. Okay. Basically out of range of the, um, the fort though. This way, get out of combat. Oh, I don't have a spyglass. That's the thing. Now that we're out of combat, we can sail to a warlike. Ooh, she's a heavy frigate. I'll pull up alongside her. I will just be boarding, though, um, by Longboat.
go into the enter menu, send boat to the warlike. Lower away! Um, I need to go down below. We had corn beef again for dinner yesterday. the thing is here. Hell of a vessel, ain't it? Oh, here he is. Uh, Florian Shock. Yep. Uh, my 15 can see the deadline was a near run thing and I barely made it. Glad to see you. Nice to meet you. Let's not waste time and get these cannons aboard. It's not going to be easy, so I'll need your mental health. We'll manage. Okay. <sighs> Three hours passed. The cannons were loaded on the frigate. Share any good news, colleague. Thank you for your service, Captain. Take your war 200 doubloons. Of course. That's not all, Captain. Would you like to make another 150 doubloon? Golden double escudos? Whatever. Sounds promising, but depends on what you're going to ask me for. I'm laying in wait for a Spanish heavy galleon with a valuable cargo. The ship was put in a docks for repair according to my sources she was supposed to set sail yesterday but it didn't happen get to the rendezvous point to give the updates i've been awaiting i suspect the spanish arrested him i'll pay you to sneak into portobello and find out two things why the galleon is still there and what happened to my agent are you in i'm afraid of the lack of proper training for such an operation i'm a gentleman not a spy i might get into trouble myself and won't be able to help you sounds dangerous let's do it all right, well, listen to me then. My man's name is Sylvan Laferet. He goes by James Jem Silico. Merchant. The galleon is named Alicantara. Alicantara. I advise you to pass through the city gates at night time, through the jungle. Porto Willow guards are very suspicious nowadays. Not to mention that Sylvan's disappearance and doesn't bode well for him. You have two days until I've got to get out of here before the Spanish patrols find us. Timer is disabled. <laughs> I received an item, Gypsy's fan. Oh, plus 10 salt, nice. Equip that stuff. Alright, we go back to our ship. And, um. We'll sail to this lagoon, I guess. It's probably there. Oh, that was the further away one, I think. This is the one I wanted. There's the French ship. So we'll moor here. Two boys with tomahawks going into the city at night. No problem. Okay, this is already very different to our previous run.
Uh, lucky enough, the guards are inside the gate, so they don't really care about you standing outside the gate for six hours. Okay. Totally forgotten all the names, but let's go in. Probably read them. So, Alec Cantara and James Silico. Try walk at a pace, the guards will be less suspicious, so you can hold down shift to walk. Do 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 do. Spaniards, how are you? Uh, we're looking for the tavern. Oh, this is the tavern. You won't find the cuisine <coughs> better than ours around. What's this tavern best known for? Let's have a talk. We came here uh, on different business. Let's have me um, find a merchant named Jim, Jim Silico. He's supposed to come and see you. Well, the Venerable Caballero is very well known in our town, especially the past couple of days. Hold on a minute. I'll go get a guy who can bring you to him. Oh no. This is an unusual accent you have there, senor, or should I say, monsieur. Um, perhaps you can share the same cell. Take a boys. Well, if you don't like my accent, perhaps she'd introduce you to my French swordplay. Ha ha. very quickly, sir. Rest in peace. 
Uh, I can't dodge and I have no potions left, I'm dead. Yep, nice. <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, hey guys. Where's my buddy? He's over there. So let's not talk to the dude first. Go to a random house. We won't talk to the barman, but we'll talk to someone in there. Sir, um, you can also handle the plane. Hmm. How much do you want? 4,400? Is that a bit much? I think it's a bit much. Yeah. Everything here is clear and square. Like a man wins. I want to ask you a few questions. Nope. Pour it on. That might be an old saw, but doesn't mean that I'm gonna start prison with you. I just can't recall who you are. Smuggler. More officers, okay. I dropped anchor near this, but um, what don't you understand? doors to the tavern okay so our keeper is gonna sell us out oh if my husband saw us please give me the tomorrow don't be afraid it will not hurt you that was our first response Shipyard, I guess. Who are you? Uh, 
I think because of our trustworthy thing and the amulet and all that stuff, we're probably just going to get away with that the whole time, right? Yeah, it's closed. Find out. Who are you? Keep on going the way you Stop were. Stop right going. there. Oh, uh, crap. Where are you? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. All questions go to the officer. All right, let's, let's walk just so that we're not stopped every few seconds. That's fair enough. Land has become very valuable in our day mm -hmm. and age. I shall leave. I shall leave. Do I just have to win the fight? That's terrible if I do. Pirates are wreaking havoc. Products are getting. Who are you? To break into the prison. Could I? Doesn't seem to have a um I may just have to win the fight. Come on in, have a seat. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Party to blooms? Sure. Come on, don't irritate me. Yep, you did receive word, good man. Oh, he's not in the usual cell. Listen, buddy, kindly open the cell for what reason? Listen to me, buddy, don't think I'm not uh, looking good and stuff, but I just need to get out of here. What? Let me out, and I'll be able to repay. And that's interesting. Who are you and what can you offer me? <clears throat> uh, take me to Isla del Toro. There in a grotto, I have a treasure. We'll get in the share. Nope, but you told me where it is. here <sighs> kind of uh, unfortunate <sighs> it's our responsibility to be on guard doing a great job but doing a great job Questions go to the officer. Mm. 
or with my husband saw us. Uh, all right, let's go to the tavern. Jesus. Keep on going the way you were going. I will. Land has become very valuable in I just want to double check that I'm not missing something. There's always the church. Tempus fugit eternitas manet. That's the crack. I have business. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Uh, okay, we have to probably win the fight. I think this might be one of those missions I'm just not ready for. Keep on going the way you were going. Cuisine better than ours around. I uh, hope you can answer a couple of questions. Can you tell me the latest news? Okay, subject. Okay. Actually, much better. attack mm -hmm. 
You won't find the cuisine better than ours around. Why the hell? Ouch. <laughs> Straight through me there. Come on, man, finish off the captain. God damn it, it wouldn't let me attack him. There we go. Leave my buddy back there. Thank a few hits, hopefully. So he got his pistol shut off. All right. You want to find the cuisine better than ours around. I should get two more people to come in with me. Oh. Um, you there. Hey, guess what? You want to find the cuisine better than ours around. That's fine. Shot his own guy, excellent. Wow. I'm dead. Cool. <laughs> Second time he dropped his price. You want to find the cuisine better than ours around. Alright, he was crap. Cool. I had 
five health. <laughs> He said I had five health. I will try him out one more time, but uh, I think the other guy was actually better. You want to find the cuisine better than ours around. Why the hell? through my block. Oh, it said he's wounded. He doesn't die. As far as I'm aware. <clears throat> um. Hey, you have two healing potions. Do you know what I need to do? I need to, um... Grip that. You want to find the cuisine better than ours around. What the? 
He's went straight through my block again. Is his skills. Oh, yeah, you're, you're just a border. That's what you are. That is fine and dandy, and we'll give him a healing potion for a standard battle. It'll be useful. <clears throat> out to see. or something. Get out of here and actually head back to our ship. We can. Um, 
the fort that's the plantation did we come in this side i guess we did Come back and do this, because yeah, we're not we're just not ready. As far as I'm aware, we won't fail it. Oh no. Is it because I've, um... Because I've started the mission that I have to... I can't go to the world map? So, what are we at? 1350, yes, we did that, we did that, that's in Portobello, that's outside Portobello, that's on the bay, oh god. Load this one and see. I don't want to be stuck in that mission. The other thing then is that we have a full hold of crap. If I go back to Port Royal, sell the planks that I don't need. That gives a bit of cargo space that we can read. I should probably get two more officers if I can. Or I could just finish the mission and not take on the second part. Awesome. 